Audiovisual Preservation Solutions presents EXIF Tool, version 9.38. This is Katherine Gronsbell from AV Preserve. We hope you find the EXIF Tool tutorial series I have created useful and informative. We look forward to your feedback. Welcome to the fourth and final tutorial for EXIF Tool. Building on the information introduced in tutorials 1 through 3, this video demonstrates how to create collection profile in CSV by employing options and setting parameters. Before we jump into creating a collection profile, let's review how to create an item level profile. The syntax here includes the tool name, the CSV export option, the file name, and a redirect bracket that will create a CSV called item profile in the working directory. The result of this would be EXIF Tool's standard output for a specified file exported and formatted as a CSV file. We follow this logic to create a collection profile. The CSV option remains, but instead of reading a single file, we can read every file in a given directory. The standard output from all the files in this directory is then redirected from the terminal to a CSV called collection profile. It can be considered a collection profile because it documents a set of files rather than a single item. Before adding options, it is important to understand what you create with this command and how. The only option listed here is the CSV export option, so the standard output for a directory will be in the CSV created by this command, named Collection Profile 1. In Terminal, I'm going to see what working directory I am in by typing pwd into the prompt. I am in the samples directory on the desktop, which also happens to be the directory I want to scan. If you recall the change directory, or cd command, one dot will leave you in the same directory you are currently in, meaning your working directory won't change. Two dots will bring your working directory to the parent of your current directory. So back in terminal, let's type our command that consists of exif tool dash csv followed by a single dot, an angled bracket, and don't forget your destination file called collection profile underscore one dot CSV. You should see a message of how many directories were scanned and how many files have been read as a result of your command. Although the results display the number of image files read, it really indicates any EXIF tool compatible file. This can include still image, moving image, or audio that is listed in the man page. The first column in your CSV should list the source file for all the tag values. Columns are headed with tag names and populated with corresponding file values. This CSV is a great resource for managing and referencing a collection of digital assets. Let's consider some customization options for collection profiles using EXIF Tools command line iteration. The first customization option we will look at is the inclusion of formatting options. The uppercase G option adds group names to the standard output. Because we don't want to overwrite our previous profile, let's add a 2 to the file name of the CSV created from this command. I want to continue scanning my working directory, but if you want to scan another directory, use the syntax. Where directory was written, type tilde backslash and the name of the directory. The sample here tells EXIF tool to scan the desktop for media files to read. In Terminal, I'm going to enter the command exif tool dash csv dash uppercase g, a single dot because I want to scan my current directory, followed by the angled bracket, and my new destination csv called collection profile 2. Again, we receive a message of how many directories were scanned and how many files were read as a result of this command. Open your csv. Take a look at the column headers. In addition to the tag names describing the values of each source file, the tag group name is presented followed by a colon. This information is valuable for understanding what groups the tags and their values belong to. Now that we have a handle on how to create CSV collection profiles and include formatting options, we can start paring down what we ask EXIF tool to export. For example, I have a set of assets that I need the file type and file size for management purposes. 
I do not need any additional information, and I don't want to have to parse my desired information out of a CSV file. Exif tool makes this very easy to do. Simply write the tag names of the desired values, preceded by dashes, into the command in the arrangement shown here. Exif tool's standard output is the equivalent of having all of the tags in the command, meaning it prints everything it can read. To limit the results to what we want, we simply include tag names that point to values of interest in our files. Enter this command into the terminal. Be sure to include a 3 in your CSV file name so you don't overwrite previous efforts. Note again the notification of directory scanning and file reads. Take a look at the resulting CSV. The only information is what you asked for in the command, the file sizes and file types of all the files in the directory you scanned. Concise and potentially very useful. This is also good practice to become better acquainted with different tag names and values. But say you needed the numerical expression for a file size instead of its value listed in kilobytes. A hash character may be appended to the tag name to disable the print conversion on a per tag basis. For more information, see the lowercase n option, which reads and writes numerical tag values. Enter this command into terminal. Don't forget the hash after the dash file size. How do the results differ from previous efforts? As you can see, the difference is significant. Being able to choose the output format could be useful for workflows where numbers are required over values in kilobytes or other units of digital measurement. In summary, this tutorial provided guidance for creating collection profiles and modifying them to suit your needs. This is the final tutorial in the EXIF tool series, and we hope that this and the preceding videos have provided a strong foundation for you to continue exploring and engaging with EXIF tool for personal or professional needs.